Let us look at this question on operating systems which is based on semaphores. This sum comes for two marks, is a bit tricky and is surely not one of the easiest sums around. So let us learn how to tackle this question. A shared variable x is initialized to 0. So I have written x equal to 0. It is operated on by four concurrent processes w, x, y and z as follows. Now each of the processes w and x reads x from memory. So from this we know that x is in the memory or the RAM. So I can write it like this. I can denote it by a box. W and X then increments it by 1, stores it to memory and then terminates. So if I would like to write it down, it would look something like this. Each of the processes y and z reads x from memory, decrements it by 2 and stores it to the memory and then terminates. So if I have to write that, it will look something like this. Each process before reading x invokes the p operation that is wait on a counting semaphore s and invokes the v operation on the semaphore s after storing x to memory. What does this mean? We have a semaphore s and as we know s is initialized to 2 so we have s equal to 2 there is something known as a p and a v operation for those who don't know p of s is nothing but you decrement x by 1 v of s or release is nothing but you increment s by 1 Decoding this question, it will look something like this. Hence, this section of code is actually guarded by P of S and V of S, that is, weight and signal operations respectively. Now, S equal to 2 only tells me that two processes can enter the section of code at the same time and not more than 2. What is the maximum possible value of x after all the processes complete execution? When I mean all, it tells me w, x, y, z should complete execution of its code once. Now, when a process is executing on the CPU, the CPU allocates some registers of itself to the process for the process personal purposes. So, when the process w reads the small variable x, it will actually store the value of x in a particular register. So, let me draw a box and let me name it as register of w for the time being. Similarly, drawing the registers for all the other process I get. The question asks us to find the maximum value of x. Now, how do we find the maximum value of x? For that, we need to develop a logic of semaphores because it is not that easy. But for now, I will give you the answer directly. Hope that helps you develop your logic. Now, as I mentioned earlier, since the value of capital S is 2, only two processes can enter the section of code at the same time. In the first part, I will take x and y together to enter the section at the same time. So y starts by doing this code and s is reduced by 1 because p of s is s minus 1. Similarly, x invokes the weight function and it reduces the value by 1 and it's now 0. Now, after this point, if any other process wants to enter, namely w or z, they won't be able to because s cannot be decremented further and this will go into a busy 
weight. So coming back, y reads the value of x from the memory. The a value of x is 0 and stores in its register. Similarly, x reads the value of x and stores in its register. y decrements the value of x by 2 and hence the value is 2 in the register of y. Similarly, x increments the value of x and it's 1. Sorry, it's minus 2 over here. Finally, y will store x in the memory and the value of x is now minus 2. But x will store the value of x, small x that is, as 1 and hence the value will be overwritten. Once both are done with the execution, both will release s and the value of s will go from 1 to 2. In the similar fashion, we will take w and z in the next part. So, following the same procedure, w, uh, z reads the value of x as 1 and stores it in its register. W also reads the value of x and stores it in its register. Z decrements it, decrements the value of x by 2 and hence it's now minus 1. X increments the value as of x and it's now 2. The same way if Z stores it first, the value of minus 1 is stored and x is replaced as minus 1. And finally, w stores the value of x as 2 and hence x can become 2. And finally, they release the variables in the same way and hence the answer is 2. That is the maximum possible value of x. The mistake that students make is not considering memory and register and that's when they get the values other than 2. I hope this is clear. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and support us. Thank you.